Good morning, America. We're heading to Winona on the Mississippi River just to catch some small towns. I think the, the weather today is very good. I hope to find some gems. And then right after we have like a four and a half hour drive to Fargo, North Dakota, about 500 kilometers. Excited to see North Dakota, to be honest, because it was one of the most uh, curious place I want to experience. Even people said that it's like flatland and nothing much. There's no people, no one around. I'm just curious about that. That excites me quite a lot. And we had breakfast at the hotel. It was very nice. First time trying, not probably the first time, but one of the rarest ones that I'm trying a three-star model. So it's meant to be an hotel here in the US because usually you use uh, Motel 6 chains that it's a one or two stars. And I mean, it's completely fine for just a night out, just to sleep, uh, have a shower. But this time it was really, really nice for the price. It was like $65 with breakfast included, very low. We don't have those price in Italy. It's very more expensive. Still figuring out what happened to Alexov at this house. Uh, I'm blessed, truly honored. Trying to document small towns, as I say, they were eating to San Charles and the way of Wayonona. And I'll keep you posted later. Still you pray. Stay and hit your harder, don't go away. Hit your deeper, burning through your veins for one more day. You can't keep up, you fall behind. You lost your Train you can stop like a nightmare, but this time you don't wanna wake up. Pulls you in, it takes over. You just can't let go of the worst, best thing. Well, that's ever happened to you. pajama on and went to the other side of the street from where my motel is and got a good beer had a good talk 
and now I will enjoy this one and go to bed and ready for the next day. Okay, good morning from North Dakota. I was excited for this moment because uh, one of the main reasons about the Midwest trip I'm making uh, it's for, for Dakotas and Nebraska. Uh, this kind of Western and not so Western style uh, things. I, I really love those kind of stuff. Please point that. I love this kind of stuff. Uh, really industrial. That's why I'm very excited. I also have to thank uh, my friend Luis for giving me uh, a map of places, uh, abandoned places and things to do here in South Dakota, in the North Dakota, sorry. Uh, it's very, very fun today. So let's dive into it. Take you where you, where you need to go. that's been through life it's so much easier to see who I am and who I want to be no getting old don't bother me truth can be a bit of pill but it'll do you right and set you free the way a lie never will like climbing up the steepest hill but truth can be a bit of pill So we are roaming through North Dakota and we are experiencing a different America, a different United States of what you usually see on Instagram, on TVs, on movies. This is such another kind of United States. It's different. It's an open land, it's flat land. There's no McDonald's, there's no Starbucks, there's no nothing. Uh, we were looking around for a place to eat, just something like uh, a grill house, something to, to eat some meat. 
and we went to this small town and there were no bars, no supermarket, only a few houses and, and an old saloon that was all stripped down. Someone was working on it while removing pieces. And I felt like in another country that was not the United States. And in this project, uh, I'm trying to document what is, is this different uh, point of view from what we are used to talking about the states. So the project that I'm, I'm making I have this name that is inspired by a poem by Ted Kozer that is Flying Night that said at some point five million miles away, five million miles away, a galaxy dies. And so this is dying galaxy is the Midwest. People are the stars that are seen from the outside, from the coastlines, uh, the west coast, the, the all places that are very touristy, and they see those stars that are very bright, but they are dying from the inside. They are dying from the inside, but that's not true because I know that there are many people that work here in the Midwest, and that's why I'm here because I want to document that kind of states that are not very highlighted. They call this the flyover country because everyone flies by and no one goes there to visit. And that's my aspiration to bring some images that can help uh, visualizing this kind of concept I have in mind. Searching on Google Maps, we finally found a place to have lunch. It had countless positive reviews and being hungry, we didn't hesitate for a second to stop. When we walked in, there was only a retired farmer and two owners, Kim and Dina. As soon as the two women heard our Italian accent, they got excited and started chatting with us, showing us to our table. It felt like an epiphany. Kim and Dina turned out to be two wonderful sisters who treated us to like a family. They let us savor their cooking and made us feel completely at home. By the end of our meal, they gifted us a sweet shirts and other goodies from their restaurant. And they even treated us to lunch. Truly, two amazing people who will always have a place in our hearts. If you ever have a chance, stop by the Psychic Stone Den. And just like in a fairy tale, as we were leaving this wonderful experience, we met another couple, whom I nicknamed the Guard Sale Couple, Lee and Maureen, two incredibly kind people who, after a brief chat, happily posed for me on their property, a sweet and touching testament to love. take a moment to thank the Hanser team for providing me their the Hanser Pro uh, plugin for um, DaVinci Resolve. Uh, it has been just uh, an amazing experience using it because it elevates my video work along my photographs and as a field photographer it all, I'm always searching for tools that honor the unique aesthetic of analog photography and the Hanser Pro has been a game changer in my workflow. Uh, so its ability to replicate the nuances of film grain, elation, bloom, it's very very good and it's ready to use. I was like used to make adjustments with uh, homemade LUTs 
uh, was way more time consuming and with the answer I'm just one click away from my final results and I can just tweak stuff and make images and make videos like my images and it's very very cool so the wide selection of film profiles and the level of control you have on each effect make it an available tool for anyone who loves the timeless quality of film photography and it seamlessly integrates into my editing process helping me create images that feel authentic and true to my vision so if you're passionate about that distinct film look or just want to elevate your video work I highly recommend giving the answer pro a try 